What is up? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to sync HubSpot with Airtable. So you can use Airtable to manage your entire CRM. No clunky UI, no worrying about clicking back and forth between pages. Instead, Airtable can be where you manage all of your HubSpot records. So first, I'm gonna show you what this looks like, and then we'll get into how you can set this up yourself. Here is an example of HubSpot and Airtable synced side by side. So we've got six deals here and six deals there. If I make an update on either side, it will sync across. Just to give an example, we can take a look at John's deal here and open this up. Let's change this to Mark's deal. And maybe we make the amount 10,000. Let's save that. And boom, almost instantly it appears over in Airtable. Um, we can also use things like associations. So Mark Steele doesn't have a company yet. Let's go ahead and add one. Let's pick 8020. If we come back over here, again, it will take something like 10 to 15 seconds or so. And we'll see this company associated with Mark Steele. So actually let's click back in again and scroll over to companies. Here we go. So contacts, companies, 8020, right? So this sync, because it involves all the fields that HubSpot supports, it has deals, companies, and contacts. So this is all syncing as well. It allows you to use Airtable to manage your entire HubSpot CRM. So I'm gonna show you how you can set this up yourself. It's really easy and let's do it. Okay, we're gonna set this up in three easy steps. The first part is setting up HubSpot. Then we're gonna set up Airtable. And finally, we'll use WhaleSync to connect the two. On the HubSpot side, there really isn't much setup you need to do. You just need an account. It works with free accounts. You don't need to be on any special plan as long as you have an account and ideally have some deals uh, with some contacts and some companies. So things that can be synced over with Airtable, you are good to go. Over on the Airtable side, we're gonna to need to set up a Airtable base that has those same tables, so deals, contacts, companies, as well as the same fields. So in deals, you're probably gonna to wanna to sync something like deal name, the amount, a linked record over a company and contact, or in HubSpot terms, an association over to company and contacts. So similar idea um, over in companies and contacts as well. Now, you can do this manually, uh, but what we recommend is using a WhaleSync template pack. So if you go over to whalesync.com and hit templates, you can then search for HubSpot on the left side here and pick from one of our packs. We sync HubSpot with a bunch of different tools, but the popular ones are Airtable and Notion. Um, and within that, we have templates. So you can see like HubSpot here that has every single field. So hundreds of different fields that HubSpot supports or uh, HubSpot Simple. So if you look into that, that has a just more narrow set of fields that we uh, feel is a good place to get started. So I'm gonna use this one. Again, no need to do anything on the HubSpot side. We already covered that. With Airtable, we'll open this template and copy it from there. Now, I'm not gonna copy it again. I'll just use the one that I had set up here before. And once we're, uh, we've copied the template, we're good to go. So the final piece is just hooking up Airtable. Oh, rather, hooking up WhaleSync. Um, so once we have uh, Airtable and HubSpot set up, we can go into app.whalesync.com and click Create New. There's three steps for syncing with WhaleSync. First, we're gonna need to connect our apps. So pick them from this dropdown and authorize. For HubSpot, it's really easy. You can just grab this right here. Uh, once you've authorized and uh, connected HubSpot, we're gonna do the similar thing for Airtable. I'm gonna fast forward through this since we've covered this in a lot of other demos. Okay, great. We've now connected to both HubSpot and Airtable. Let's hit map tables. One of the beautiful things of using our template packs is that the tables will already be there and auto map. So we are gonna to wanna to connect the companies, contacts, and deals objects in HubSpot to the corresponding tables in Airtable. And of course, we're gonna choose two-way sync here in order to make sure that data flows in both directions. Once we've done that on the table side, we're gonna do the same thing for fields. And once again, because we're using a template, this is gonna be super, super easy. Literally all the fields are mapped for us. We've got things like annual revenue and companies syncing back and forth. Um, or if we go down to deals, we have things like contact associations already mapped. 
Of course, you can always add new field mappings like this by clicking add a field and choosing things from the dropdown. Uh, but again, we don't really need that. We have the template set up. We're good to go. So this has been saved. Our base is created. Let's go ahead and turn sync on. As a reminder, we strongly suggest you use this with a backup system like HubSpot Pro Backup or SysCloud Backup. The reason being that HubSpot does not have a backup feature of its own. And when you're using a powerful two-way sync tool, things can change. So we strongly suggest using one of these two things before you turn sync on. Once you turn sync on, this will initialize and then you'll start to see a number count up as WhaleSync recognizes all the data that is in HubSpot. Once it gets to a high enough number of all of your information, it'll start to count down as data syncs into Airtable. So we can hop over to Airtable and let's see what we got over here. So no deals yet, but we have some contacts syncing in first. So you can kind of see this coming in one by one. Once it's done with contacts, we'll see companies and deals because there are now 340 updates remaining. I'm gonna also fast forward through this so we can just check this out once the initial sync is done. All right, we're all done syncing. You can see this uh, says the, the latest time that a sync went through. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Airtable. And let's do a split view with Airtable. So here we go, 135 contacts over here. We can take a look at Airtable, 135 contacts. Uh, similar idea for uh, companies. We can go over there too. Do, do, do. Here we go, companies. Um, we got 211 and 211. So everything is synced from HubSpot at the Airtable. As you saw at the beginning of this video, if I make an update here and change this from 9x.agency to 9x agency, that will sync. I can add contacts um, in Airtable. Let's add, uh, let's create a new contact and do, you know, John at John at 9x.agency, something like that, right? John Smith, great. And boom. Both these things will sync over into HubSpot and vice versa. The other really nice thing about having this data in Airtable is you can use Airtable extensions. So I can create things or charts like this to show in our deals what who like who owns deals what's their estimated value right now they're all owned by me but if you had a team of 10 or 20 reps you can kind of create all these charts wherever you need directly in Airtable. so that is the very quick overview of how to turn Airtable into your command center for your help spot crm we hope you enjoy and found this useful let us know if you have any questions or if there are other HubSpot objects that you want us to add support for speak soon